What up guys and girls, another brand new video coming at you today and we are back again for another round of the SRL APAC Series Season 2 for round number 4 here at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. And I must admit, this was probably one of my most hated tracks especially. Um, I just don't know what it is, probably more to do with the castle section anyway. But uh, uh, here's a reminder of the championship standings if you haven't already seen the first three videos of the season, which I urge you to go check it out. But you can see there, uh, Warden leads by only five points over New Zealand Ryan and Timo Marnix just a further point behind. We're currently at P11, uh, sitting all right at this so far. Wasn't that many of us here this weekend, actually, uh, for this round. So it was a good opportunity to hopefully gain a bit more points on, uh, especially Penske, considering I'm, I really want to fight at him for this champ. Um, in the battle throughout this championship. As you can see now, just heading off now on our first lap of qualifying. It didn't feel brilliant. I mean, maybe some parts maybe it felt it was okay, just like there. You probably just tell I just went well and truly wide coming out of it turn five. But uh, somehow I went purple in sector one, which I don't think really lasted that long anyway, but uh, felt all right having a purple sector. But you see they're just losing probably getting on the power a little bit too early out of uh, that dreaded 15 as you come down the downhill section. You can see now Zombie just sets the fastest time at a 141.0. We said uh, I said a 141.3 and this is actually my second lap. I'll show the full highlight uh, of this lap. You can see it, a nice run. A little bit oversteery out of turn two. Now down this long straight head running down into turn three. I was probably a little bit cautious going into turn three as I didn't want to outbreak myself and go up the escape road. You try to avoid it, the curb as much as you can around the 50 meter mark. Get it right up close to that wall as you come through four. Now turn five was the the, error, the place where I made my error first time. They had a bit better run through there, right the curb's okay. Probably made, should have maybe made the setup a little bit more softer just to allow the curb of the car to ride the curves, but now we come to the dreaded castle section. Got to keep it nice and tight. I used fourth during uh, this quality session. Whether that helped or not, I don't really know, but I had to find out here. That's actually uh, one of the Ferraris. I'm not sure which one it was, but um, coming now into turn 15 where I had that big, uh, much better run, a big a lot of oversteer, had a much better run out of that corner. Now this final sector probably just ran a little bit too wide throughout this that corner now through the fast left right hander. Got to keep it nice and tight through here, otherwise you'll be hitting that wall. And as we come down the front straight, as uh, I think uh, I'm not sure who exactly was setting faster times there, but um, getting DRS. So use the, the shorter line just to get to the, the finish line and uh, actually better my lap time by about two tenths, maybe a little bit under two tenths of 141.18. Which felt okay anyway, so anyway, we're back down to the lane. I mean, yeah, probably got the warning as well for that, my troubles, so um, yeah, I mean uh, usually around this track I think most people are doing about 140s. I don't think I've ever achieved much in the 140s yet or ever around Azerbaijan. And uh, if you probably remember back to my uh, ASR video, you'll probably know that I was, this was another crap track of mine anyway. But uh, yeah, just uh, getting rid of all the fuel that I had on board. I, I did two runs uh, like majority of the fuel did. We can see there, there's the timing sectors. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't really too bad. Uh, you can see there, I think uh, DRC Jarrett was at the bus sector one. And I think Plums for the win was in... To, the sector three time, I'm not sure, but it put us in P7 for the time being, but uh, went out again. You've got to be so careful you don't bottle it out of the pit lane in, exit there, but uh, went again for another run. Try to get a, probably missed my apex there uh, going into turn one. Now turn two, again, probably took too much curb through that. You, uh, a lot of people probably try to avoid that curb anyway, but it did go up a little bit. But it wasn't quite as much as I hoped for, but just trying to get it through this castle section again. Keep it nice and tight through there. Probably compromised my line there, and they're getting a little bit oversteery out of that corner. Now 15. And again, just had the little break of oversteer. 
and you'll be able to see now that the sector time was actually not brilliant. I must admit, it was just dropping down the order now. Cover towards the line, didn't actually improve at all. So I was very surprised at that. I thought I would have maybe improved by a little bit, but uh, uh, in the end, it ended up being P11, which I must admit was not ideal. But uh, New Zealand Ryan, great pole position lap. I mean, absolutely dominant. Tim Amarnik up there and Warden. The usual suspects pretty much uh, this season in SRL. Pretty much been the dominant force. But uh, we get to the race, fine as. I don't think you can suspect any rain around anyway. But uh, you see that Chucky on a heap amount of fuel. It was definitely the once, only the one-stop strategy around here. Uh, yeah, on the way to the formation lap. I mean, if I could get point, what's my goal really? I mean, points would probably be ideal. We could probably get more points than Penske. I mean, it'd be okay. You can see there's a few guys being uh, disqualified from the formation lap, which is probably the norm by now, but uh, managed to survive all of that chaos. So it was probably four or five guys or something like that. You can see there, one of the Force Indians had a big corner cut through there. I'm not sure which one it was, but um, could have been easily been Warden or New Zealand Ryan, one of the two. But um, very, being very cheeky, but um, here we go. We're all set for round four of SRL. Five red lights. Very long hole, but let's do it around Baku, and it's an okay start. Pretty good start, actually, from HO there. You can see my teammate Matt's still lagging all over the joint, actually, but uh, yeah, HO got a ripping start uh, compared to Zombie Hunter, now they, they go side by side. Get a little bit of a touch there from, I think, was Matt. I'm not too sure. It probably was Matt because uh, that's uh, Penske in the Williams and uh, I think uh, possibly DRC Jared. Again, it's very hard to see this previous screen. Be a big block up into turn three there and uh, HO gets the run there. I think about it up the inside here of Zombie, but Zombie's make, trying to make the move on uh, HO, but uh, I think HO is going to hold on uh, for the time being. Now that this one of the dreaded parts I did, didn't really like throughout this race, but uh, didn't really make any inroads. Through the castle section we go now. Probably trying to keep it very tight compared to the other guys, but um, didn't really hurt my run, I must admit, but you can see there, Zombie is running very wide there, uh, coming out of 16, so he's feeling a little bit of pressure early on. He'll probably pull away a, a little bit later yeah, during this race, you can see Keeping in his slipstream, there's no DRS yet until lap three. So it's basically going to have to do it with Rich Mix. You can see there, Jared's not far behind. Oh, sorry, that's not Jared. Jetson, I apologize. But um, yeah, Jetson, uh, again, qualifying in the back. It's, it's a very unlike Jetson, but Zombie again running wide at turn one. And I've got Jetson up my rear end, so I don't really want him to get by me. I wanted to get by Zombie first before I probably let Jetson through. but. Uh, you see that the, the proximity arrow is getting very close there and uh, going into turn three. Now, I initially thought he did touch me a little bit because he did hit the wall and copped a little bit of front wing damage, but um, we'll see on uh, Jetson's replay there wasn't any contact whatsoever, but uh, here we go. Back behind Zombie again, coming up into the dreaded castle section and look what happens. Uh, I just wish the ghosting system had really worked, but it didn't, unfortunately. Jetson was very, very lucky. He did, he did not get involved in all of that, but um, yeah, now I've lost half a front wing, and as you can see there, not right through the, the fast left-right-handers, but um, it was certainly helping these guys behind me, uh, Matt, my teammate, and uh, Exit Donor and the Renault. They got a lot of slipstream off me, but you can see they just dive straight into the pits. Oh uh, dear. Well, my day's off to a, pretty much a horrible start because I'm basically now dead last. So I'm going to put on the... I was originally putting on the medium tyres and possibly hoping to go to the end. And they're uh, changing the front wing, but... Um, you know, away we go. Nice job from the McLaren boys, but... Um, <coughs> At this point in my mind, I mean, I wasn't happy that I was dead last, and you could probably tell where most of the field are, nearly up to about turn seven, and I'm just coming out of the pit lane, but um, you just see that, just trying to push on as much as I can. 
hopefully taking these medium tyres to the end. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just an absolute shocking for me. You just see that it's running a little bit wide at 15. You can easily outbreak yourself there going to that corner. But uh, here's a replay from uh, Jetson's point of view from the start. Yeah, on the very tight line there. And uh, Matt, you can see he's all lagging all over the place, lagged into a few people. Looked like he was ghosting in one car. But you can see there, uh, Matt tried it on me, but uh, you can see how much drive I had. Compared to him, that's uh, that's Penske on the right there. Again, a bit down the order for him, but uh, there's Jetson going up the inside of Matt and uh, might make it stick. No, he's still going. He's going to have to do it the long ways. A little bit of contact between these two, but um, I think Jetson now has got the preferred line uh, going into five and this should make it pretty simple. Yeah, just squeezes him out. Tries to not get make him... Um, Try to do the cutback. You see it here. There wasn't even a bit of contact. Now, I like I said, I thought there was contact, but uh, there wasn't any contacts at all. So, and you can see here, look at it. He's got a perfect view of that. Again, how he did not get caught up in our melee, he'd be probably thankful he was a, a little bit back from both of us in the end. But, yeah, very lucky for Jetson. But uh, here's a replay from Penske's start. You can see Good job compared to uh, Conrod. There's uh, Exodona was around there as well, but uh, you can see he's holding in behind Jetson here, just trying to go around the outside there, and uh, you'll, you've already seen what's happened already. So you see there's Jetson going up inside. Penske putting a massive move around the outside of Matt, uh, the inside which turned to the outside, I should say. But uh, yeah, Matt held on for the time being, but. Yeah, coming towards the end of the lap, though. Exodona's got some good straight line speed in that Renault. So he's going to make the move around the outside of all things. And uh, he actually gets it done. I will point out, all-round cricketer, unfortunately, had a few uh, connect connection issues. So, fortunately, there's not much of a live stream from the, the Baku right, round. But you guess, what, on board from Team at Marduk, look at the start. New Zealand Ryan got absolutely perfect start for him. That he just he holds off Warden because Warden made a great start as well. Thinking about have a look up the inside here at turn two. No, Ben holds him off for the time being. So now towards the end of lap one, you can see Manage just to close off the door there to uh, to Warden. He's going to have to make Warden to go around the long way, but uh, you just see the pressure already, and it's allowing New Zealand Ryan to easily get away from these guys. But now Warden, having a bit of a better look here up the inside. This is more at the end of lap two on the lap three, and uh, he makes it simple there. And I think watching from Ben's video that he he was thinking of defending him for a little bit, but just decided to let him go there. So I mean, which is fair. And uh, nearly at the end of lap th uh, start of lap four, he really runs up the rear end of uh, of Warden. But uh, I think during the, my footage, there was a bit of a yellow flag towards turn one. This is on board with Neon Trito. That's DRC Jared. You see Jared's going way, way too deep into that corner. And, oh, that's an easy move there for Neon. Up into P4 now, but I'd be surprised if Jared's probably got a bit of front wing the damage there. Really, really easy. You see that there's Jared just um, making his way back know, onto the, Jared, the racetrack. And, uh, yeah, Jared pretty much going back down the field, but uh, nearly, nearly been a bit sideways into the castle section and nearly binned it there. And um, you'll be able to see now as we come down the front straight, uh, that's actually DRC Jared, who's just come into the pits for, uh, I think for the new front wing and definitely some medium tires. And you'll be able to see probably, well, we already saw what started it with Jared, but uh, I think this is what finished it for him. So we have a look on ball with Penske coming through the, the fast left hander of 14. Now in the 15, you'll be able to see Jared just going again way too deep and goes straight into the wall. That can happen, trust me. So uh, yeah, now Jetson's lining up pumps with a win here at the end of lap four, beginning lap five, and should get it done here in a turn one and. He's still yeah. there, Pons with a win. Actually get caught up and tangle a little bit. 
That was a little bit awkward. We turning left, and I couldn't turn anymore. And yeah, I mean, we're going to have to have probably have a look from Poms's view I, I for that one. But uh, you see there, I, well, I wouldn't be surprised if Poms has a little bit of front wing damage from that. But uh, you can see Jetson just comes back up the inside at uh, turn three. And I think now he's got the move. I gave him the position back. It was just, it was like... Yeah, you'll be able to tell that from uh, from uh, Jetson's point of view. I will leave a link to his video below. But uh, you can see there, yeah, just got caught up in the side pod. Uh, for Poms and uh, fortunately does cop a half a front wing damage there so uh, I think Jetson like he said in his video he led him back through but uh, yeah, it didn't really take long you can just tell the effects that Poms is having now at, at, up into turn three a little bit more contact actually between those two so that made it fairly simple again going very sideways coming out of three you can just tell how much I'm pushing Considering uh, Jared is probably going to catch me sometime soon, but um, this time went a little bit too deep into the castle section, and again I lost my front wing. So my day's going from bad to worse, and uh, I may have affected uh, Jared's run there through the castle section. If I did, I do apologise. But uh, it was very awkward, I must say. This is not a lot of room uh, to turn around there, and. Uh, you can tell from the effects of the front wing. I mean, how I did not crash from that, I have absolutely no idea. It was out of the 13, but, um, and again, through that left right hander at 18 and 19, but um, finally I make my way back into the lane and, uh, well, yeah, like I said, I mean, it's just a horrible day, really. So I put on the super, uh, not the super soft, the soft tires. It probably won't take me to the end, but uh, I probably have really no choice. Now, you're probably wondering why I didn't think of like retiring uh, during this point of the race. There's still a lot of opportunities. I mean, there could be like a few guys that could easily bin it in the wall. So that's what my thought was. And considering Penske is a lot further up the road than me, and as you'll be able to see now, we've lost uh, Exit Donor, I believe. So probably one name that goes from that list here. Be able to see on board with Penske here. And I think Exodona dives to the pits, but unfortunately I think he may have uh, hit the wall coming into the pit lane, which is a very doable. Yeah, so uh, that was one extra spot for us, but um, yeah, just seeing what we can do and just trying to gather as many points to try and not lose too much of a, a gap to Penske considering he's probably the guy I'm fighting for in this at the, in the championship. You see there, my teammate now, Matt, has made his way in. He's actually way up the order. I think he was about like fifth or sixth. So he was doing a ripper job, survived all the melees. And as you can see now, we've lost HO. So that's another spot there uh, for more points. So it was an added bonus. Uh, Pops of the wind did actually come in and pit. So... Explains why he's on the soft tyres. Now, his team Martin coming in for his one and only pit stop. Now, he he coming on lap 11. Uh, sorry, at the end of lap 10, I should say. But uh, here's what happened with HO. Looks like he's had a big uh, moment through that left right hander. And uh, Jetson comes in, follows Ben's view, and uh, comes in, puts on the so soft tyres, and away he goes. New Zealand Ryan and Warden did stop earlier on, so they probably have a bit more fresher rubber. I don't know where Penske was aiming for there, but it uh, looked like he was trying to aim for the safety car there. But here he comes for his one and only pit stop. You see there, he's doing a ripper job up in seventh place. So uh, again, another one that avoided all the melee. So pretty good effort there. As, uh, now back on board we go with Jetson on lap 14. Conrad has a big loose at the back end there. And uh, I think he's going to let Jetson through here. And uh, I think Conrod was basically on those soft tyres since probably lap one there. There's having another big moment coming near towards the castle section. Like me, that didn't happen into the castle section because that would have been very awkward. And now on to lap 15 we go. You actually get my first warning there, which I, I didn't even think was possible around this track, but uh, apparently it is so. So... And now back to the front of the pack is uh, Tim Atmatic putting a lot of pressure on Warden. He's, he's really struggling here 
Possibly, I think, if you watch uh, Ben's video back, I uh, believe he copped a little bit of front wing damage in as he comes through the fast right left-hander. He went very much into the wall there, and uh, that's an easy spot there for uh, for Ben. But uh, now I think Warden's going to peel into the pits here, so there's definitely been a lot of front wing changes there, and uh, now we've lost Neon Tritome, so you see what I mean? Well, I said earlier that I needed to gather points. Well, that's exactly what I'm doing now because that'll put me... I mean, it, yes, it is only a point. I get it, but um, any points is better than nothing, basically. I could have easily just, like, just thought, nah, I'm not going to get any points. But, um, yeah, like, uh, very, very lucky that... Yeah, I mean, it's probably not great for some of those guys to crash, but uh, you can see there how, much, how badly he crashed at the castle section, so... Not great for Neon. Not be having a great run. I mean, he's, he's shown good pace in the qualifying side of things, but yeah, just uh, it's just not gone well for him. I don't think this is one of his favourite tracks anyway, but there was a yellow flag up at uh, turn three. I probably wouldn't be surprised if it was Conrod, but um, now lap 18. Again, going very wide here and actually get the tyre bundle and oh, another front wing change. This is a, this will probably be, I think, my third front wing change. So I just went in a little bit too deep there, and uh, yeah, again, like at turn 19, went very deep there. But I only went like a little bit too deep. I didn't think I'd get that tire bundle, but just enough. I caught the rear end and just obviously went straight into the wall there. So I thought it's lap eight, what is it, lap 18, lap 19. I'm now down a lap, I think, because I think New Zealand Ryan has um, now lapped me, so basically I thought nothing, may as well try to get the fastest lap, it probably won't be the fastest lap, glory, anything, but um, now you can see Pops of the Winds now retired from the race, so I think another one that's another uh, casualty at the castle section, so again, gathering points, but up in the P9 now for us, and uh, I actually set my personal best at the end of uh, lap 20. It was, I think it was about a 143.7 or something or rather like that, but uh, you would able to see it. This is on board from a, a Neon Tritos point of view, but it is of Warden putting a lot of pressure on my teammate who's up in the P4 doing a ripper job, is Matt. But uh, you can see Warden's probably got a little bit more pace on those super soft tyres, getting a little bit caught up on the kerb. And definitely having a front wing helps, but again, going right around the outside, but that's not going to help Warden's cause. And I think Matt holds off for the time being, but I don't think that lasted towards the end of the race anyway. But uh, yeah, just getting sideways really out of the, the uh, castle section again. And again, just way, way too deep into the 15. Only touched the wall a little bit, but only got like a, you could probably tell there, the lime green lime green uh, front wing but that didn't really affect me I thought there's no point really it was it was near the end of the race so I'll just carry on and just get to the end so to finish a lap down and I think I was the only car that was a lap down but finish up in P9 getting a good valuable two points I mean we're prob I'm probably going to lose a bit of points to Penske as you'll be able to see now he comes across the line in seventh place and always tries does his best Finishing efforts there, and I think Warden did the same there. But um, yeah, there you go. There's the podium. The thing, it was New Zealand Ryan, uh, Ben, and Team Amatic, and uh, Jetson did a ripper job to get up on the podium. So, like I said, Jetson is probably one of the lucky ones to survive all that carnage. Again, Ryan pretty much dominated from start to finish, really, and. Uh, this was going to help definitely in championship wise but you can see there there's the results on his screen so plenty of dnfs there but end up in p9 uh penske like i said in p7 but there's all the warnings there i mean oh, oh, wasn't too bad i only got two warnings in the air but there's the championship standing so new zealand ryan now takes the lead for the first time but you can just tell it's going to be very tight i think it's about eight points between both warden and team amanica are equal on points so uh, Jetson up there in fourth. You're able to sell, tell that um, Team Atmatic has, cop, has uh, scored second in basically every race so far. So he's doing the Nico Hulkenberg 
Uh, I think we were down like in P11 or something. Correct me if I'm wrong. But there's the constructors. Force India still leading the way. But thanks to Matt's result in the uh, McLaren in the top five and me in P9, we've actually rocketed up to P5 to be, I think, nearly equal on points with Williams. So uh, that's an added bonus uh, for the team's championship. I mean, I'm not going to come out and say I'm going to win the championship now. I mean, that'd be nigh I'm impossible there. But um, yeah, constructors would probably go for a little bit of a crack myself and Matt. But um, yeah, that was pretty much it from the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. And uh, uh, SRL does ha was have did have a, a week break uh, the previous Friday as I'm recording this a little bit later. But um, yeah, we'll be back on the upcoming Friday for the Spanish Grand Prix. And you'll be able to see that on the SRL Twitch page, which I'll leave a link down in the description. Again, there was no live stream from Azerbaijan. Like I said, all-round cricketer was having a few connection issues and, yeah, didn't really get much uh, recording, I don't think. So, yeah, it was a bit unfortunate, but that's going to do it today, guys and girls. So if you did enjoy, be sure to give it a big smash on that like button. Comment down below what you thought about that race. Uh, subscribe to my channel for plenty more SRL and other league racing on F1 2017 plus plenty more video gaming content. And uh, be sure to follow me on my social media links. They're all down in the description. But for the moment, guys and girls, it is goodbye. And I'll see you all next time.